As part of the fight against illegal mining, government has formed a special police unit called the Formed Police Unit FPU. This unit is stationed across mining concessions of major mining companies to ward off illegal miners from engaging in Galamse activities. On Tuesday, November 11, some members of this police unit had a confrontation at Kenyansi No. 2, a community within the Ahafo South District where Newmont, Ghana is operating its Ahafo mines. The confrontation resulted in some shooting and death of one person and injuries to others. Subsequently, the youth attacked the residential property of Newmont, Ghana and destroyed property. The Ahafo Regional Minister, after visiting the injured, revealed that investigations have commenced into the matter. To set up an investigative team to go into the matter to find out who really uh, is at fault. We set up very early in the morning, around 9 o'clock, go around to make sure that the tempest are calm. Uh, and as at now, we, we went to the hospital to see the one on admission and uh, he's responding to treatment. He, he also visited the various homes and uh, everything is moving on well. Uh, we went to also meet management of Newmont and uh, we had a lot of discussions with them. From there, he also went and they met the leadership of the youth and we have also spoken to them, to them advise them to become and they are all there to our advice. Meanwhile, Newmont Ghana says attacks on its residential property at their half of salt mines have left workers and families traumatized. David Johnson is the Director of Communications and External Relations at Newmont's Ghana. We know that, you know, um, you know, televisions have been broken, um, washing machines, you know, windows, and, you know, they, they, would, they, would, they would enter a house and try to, you know, ransack, you know, the whole place. And it's, it's, and it's also the psychological trauma. Um, we have kids who live, you know, in these in these um, facilities. And yesterday the kids had to be kept in school, you know, because it was not it was not safe for them to you know to step out. Um, so and, and these are things that beyond you know physical damage to a person can actually traumatize the person for a long time. And you can't even put a cost to some of these things. So yeah, you, you ask yourself, you know, what really happened to justify such you know. he also says if such attacks on foreign companies are not checked it may send wrong signals to the investing community about the business environment in ghana you can't have you know incessant attacks on 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 employees and you know uh, company property they, there will come a point where employees you know would want to protect their family so we'll say you know what we 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 are out. Um, and if operations are being disrupted, um, you know, there will come a point where it becomes uns uh, unsustainable. And the implications actually go just beyond Newmont because then we are also contributing, uh, um, we are also communicating to the international community and in the, in the investment community that. Ghana is really not, you know, a safe um, mining jurisdiction. And so if you, you know, if you invest here, you're likely to, you know, pack up and go because your security cannot be guaranteed. So this actually goes beyond just Newmont and looks at the entire, you know, um, um, proposition that we make as a country, you know, as being a destination for foreign investment.